There's a link between the actor Nicolas Cage eating red meat and diabetes. Let me explain. A recent Harvard Public Health study claimed that red meat causes type 2 diabetes. There's a lot wrong with this study. Firstly, as is often the case when reporting nutrition, media stories were hyped. The study indicates a link, not causation. It's an observational study, so needs to be backed by a mechanism. It simply looked at disease outcomes and what people reported to eat. Look at the number of films that Nicolas Cage has appeared in and the number of people who have drowned by falling into a swimming pool. As you can see, this is a near perfect correlation. Now, I realize that some people may have felt like drowning themselves after watching Face Off, but who really believes the two variables are connected? It's bad science to take one disease outcome in an observational study and to claim that a food caused it. Secondly, a study used food frequency questionnaires where subjects report how often they eat certain foods. People tend to report what they would like to have eaten and underreport less healthy foods. There is no evidence that eating red meat causes diabetes. Hold on, shouldn't I be encouraging people to cut down on red meat? True, I should, but good science is more important than communicating a biased motive disingenuously. Humans have been eating red meat since, well, there's been humans. Plus, there's evidence that red meat intake per person has steadily declined since the 60s. This points to evidence in the opposite direction. Red meat is an easy target. I'm the first to support vegetarianism and I'm the first to encourage people to cut down on their animal produce. But this has to be communicated honestly. There are plenty of other reasons to nudge behavior rather than resorting to disingenuous claims. Communicating nutrition science must be honest.